Good evening, everyone. I'm Steve Hensley. A federal jury just returned a guilty verdict on at least one count against three of four people charged with engineering a vote buying conspiracy in McGoffin County, including a magistrate. The verdict wraps up a four day trial at the federal courthouse in London. That's where we find WIMT's Tanner Hesterberg live with the breaking details. Tanner. Good evening, Steve. The four people on trial in this case, Magistrate Gary Rooster Reisner, Tammy Joe Reisner, Mason Daniels, and Larry Shepard. Rooster Reisner, Tammy Reisner, and Larry Shepard all found guilty of conspiring to buy votes in the 2014 elections in McGoffin County. Mason Daniels acquitted on all three counts tonight. He is a free man. The four are accused of conspiring to buy votes in that 2014 election in McGoffin McGoffin County. Uh, the three that were found guilty, Rooster Reisner, Tammy Reisner, and Larry Shepard, all will appear in federal court in Pikeville December 1st to be sentenced. Now, if you break it down count by count, Rooster Reisner was found guilty on eight of the nine counts he was facing. Tammy Reisner found guilty on three of five counts and Larry Shepard found guilty on one of two counts. Now, uh, Rooster Reisner was named as a beneficiary of this alleged vote buying scheme. The other two beneficiaries named in this case, County Judge Executive Charles Doc Harden and County Clerk Renee Arnett Shepard, but the latter two, Steve, not on trial. The prosecution did not want to talk to us on camera, but they did tell me that they were pleased with this verdict. I spoke to both Mason Daniels and his attorney after the verdict, and as you can imagine, they were very pleased. Take a listen. It feels great that. not to go to jail. I mean, I, I've never done nothing but work all my life. I don't want to have to go to jail for something I didn't, wasn't included in. I thought it was a very, very wonderful verdict. Uh, it's nice to see uh, him get exonerated um, from the charges against him. I think the reason he did this was because he courageously took the stand and testified on his own behalf, and I think that's probably what tipped the balance with the jury for him. Now, none of the other defendants or their attorneys wanted to comment on camera after the proceedings ended tonight. Steve, the jury deliberated for about four hours before reaching this mixed verdict. And again, the three will be back in federal court in Pikeville December 1st for sentencing. And prosecutors told us that the investigation in relation to this case is not over. Tanner, any idea, uh, if you're still with us, Tanner, any idea how long uh, they could spend behind bars and, and how this will affect the magistrate's position on the fiscal court right now? Not at this point. We can tell you that the conspiracy charge is the most serious charge that each of these defendants was facing heading into this trial, and that was the one the prosecution was most happy that the jury ended up handing down the guilty verdict on. But at this point, it all depends on uh, how the judge sentences them come that December court date uh, in federal court in Pikeville, Steve. All right, have to wait quite a while for sentencing. Tanner Hesterberg, thank you. Outside the federal courthouse in London, uh, we will, of course, have more coming up on Mountain News this morning and continue to follow this story. We have